Ah, you're here. Finally. Sit. Yeah, please keep quiet. Or better keep silence. No one in the clan should know about our meeting. Yeah, this is a secret because it's about clan's anniversary that will be happening real soon. I brought the gift for our boss and I also brought that stuff you asked me. Yeah, really sharp ones, but don't worry. I'll make it quick for you. Right, so let's begin with the letter. Let me see. Now tell me again, why didn't you just go to the barber shop? Oh, I see. They didn't want to give you a service because you're Yakuza. Well, obviously you could at least hide those ink. Well, I don't worry. Yeah, right now you kind of look like a salary man and we should make you look like a Yakuza for a celebration. Don't worry. Uh, first of all... I don't need this water to spray it on your hair. Now sit really still. just can go to the barber shop without all the you know golden chains and your tattoos visible all right now let's see I will fluff the tips a little with this scissors perfume. Now, let's see. Yeah, you want your hairstyle to be sleek, right? A good choice. That will give you a serious look. Okay. Now the side. Okay, the other side. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, a few hairs on the top. 
yeah, they're sticking out. And we shall make everything nice and slick. Slick. Mm -hmm. Good. Alright. Okay, there are still a few hairs here and there that look out of place. I guess I can just fix this with my hands. Yeah, just sit still. Ah, uh, yeah. I heard of a guy who told that Yakuza's style is supreme and it's one of the most important things. Honestly, I disagree with him, because he kind of ended up not so great. Ah, uh, yet still. By looking good, we show our respect to the people around us. And you look like a top tier Yakuza. Like, I already feel like I started to respect you more. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, just a year. And there are a few stray hairs. Alright. And. You look, you look slick and stylish. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least now you look like Yakuza and not like an office worker, you know, from some IT company. Good. Oh, you want something to drink, right? Did my hairdresser skills make you so nervous? Alright. Oh, actually, I wanted to prepare a tea ceremony for you, but I didn't have time to buy any tea, so all I have is some stamina energy drink. Oh, would you like some? Oh, of course, yeah. And this will restore your powers a little. This one's for you. Yeah, sorry, I kind of don't have any other glass or anything. And I'll have some for myself. of today's meeting. Yeah, the clan's anniversary. Mm -hmm. Our family might be a rather new and not the biggest one in Tojo clan, but still, we all see that boss puts a lot of efforts and work into making our family grow, and of course his superiors see that too, so he even was invited to some formal celebration with other patriarchs. And although there's no real celebration for us goons, still, I think it will be a good idea to show our love to our patriarch too. And I have just the right idea for the gift. I think we'll give this present to him in kinda secrecy, maybe in some private situation, because it will be something really special for him. As you know, our boss has quite a collection of cold weapons, all sorts of knives and swords, and they're all classy and handcrafted and expensive. So yeah, uh, yeah, of course, I know we cannot afford something like that. But hear me out. A few weeks ago, I saw something that will be our lucky ticket. Accidentally, I saw our boss in the weapon shop 
and among other expensive tanto swords, he was looking at just one sword that appeared to be a bit different from the others. It wasn't classy or minimalistic or didn't have any expensive materials or maybe supreme craftsmanship. It had all this, you know, golden decorations, all sorts of tassels, you know, and bells and whistles. It looked really tacky. But our boss was looking at this one like he wanted to have it. And then I understood his high status does not allow me to buy and use things like that because other patriarchs and his subordinates may think that he has a bad taste and that will be unacceptable. Yet still he was so sad when he had to leave the shop without buying it. So I thought we might just give it to him as a present. You know, this way no one will dare to accuse our patriarch in bad taste for weapons. And at the same time, he'll have an excuse to keep it, because it's a gift, you cannot just throw it away, right? So yeah, that's where your help came in. Although it was kind of more a souvenir than a real tanto for fighting, uh, it still was kind of expensive, you know. And although it didn't quite look like an expensive piece of Japanese craftsmanship, the seller assured me that it is a rare item and it was brought from other country by his agents, whatever that meant. So yeah, let's just hope the boss will like it and my intuition did not fail me. Right. Anyway, before giving it to our patriarch, let's have a look at this ourselves and uh, see is everything so bad and check the materials quality and honestly, I'm just super excited and wanna have a look at this and, you know, have a closer look at this by myself before we give it away. Let's see the materials quality. Hmm. If only I knew at least anything about Tanto craftsmanship. Yeah. Hmm. This is kind of a nice combination of colors and materials, I think. Although it's cheap, yeah, it's really fancy. Almost looks like something you can find in those, you know, animation or in video games. Although I'm not sure that boss plays video games anyway. Yet still. The present is all about attention and showing you love. Not exactly the actual price of the gift. The seller assured me that this sheath is wooden. jacket and 
screaming away all the weirdest shit. Still, let's have a closer look at this piece of weaponry. Hmm. It's sharpened more like a hatchet than an actual sword, but it looks pretty and it imitates the original quality of Japanese blade. Hmm. Not bad, it even has some decoration here. it a little bit. <laughs> this won't hurt. So it will look better when boss will take it in his hands. to wrap it as a gift. Yeah. So it will be sort of surprise maybe for a brief moment, but still. All right, let's see. I have this beautiful paper. Check 
What do you say? Hmm. I think it's okay if we use this one. Hmm. All right. Hmm. You know what? I think it's fine. Let's do it. You know what? I think we did a really good job and boss will be happy. case scenario he will be not and he will kill us but at least we'll die knowing that we showed uh, our gratitude to him and showed our love and how cool boss he is You're scared to give him this gift? I know it. Alright, if you don't wanna go, if you insist, I can go myself. And you know, anyway, this gift is a bit weird, so probably both will be embarrassed if we give this to him in public. So I guess I can go and give it to him in person, if you're too scared of it. Alright, no problem, I was kinda hoping for that. No, nothing, nothing. And let's do one more tiny thing. Since you're not sure if you wanna come with me to present our gift to the bus. Yeah, let's, I prepared this card. Let's write some greetings and wishes for him. Cause you know, it's our clan anniversary and it's all thanks to him. So let's, I, yeah, I have a bit experience with calligraphy. Uh, so, what would you want to say to our boss? Uh, I see. And, uh, mm -hmm. Hmm. what else? No, let's uh, write something else. You know, the more kind words, the better. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Not bad. And I'll add a few words from myself. Yeah, don't worry, I'll separate those greetings, so he'll not think anything weird of you. Alright. Yeah, I think we're done here. And let's just hope our boss will really appreciate our effort and all the attention and love and not the actual price of the present yeah so yeah let's meet tomorrow in the morning at the clan's office back door mm -hmm. yeah you still have time to think if you want to come with me but if you want i won't be too disappointed yeah no nothing all right great see you tomorrow